Street photography street can photography focus on can people focus and, on their people and their behaviour, their behaviour, thereby also recording the social history. 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 This motivation, this motivation, also to navigate, to navigate, negotiate, negotiate expectations, expectations of privacy, security, and security. In this respect, in street photography, street photography is similar to photo two. When it comes to photography and especially street photography, I get a lot of questions from people asking me, is what I'm doing legal? Am I allowed to go out and take photos of people? And when I've been out shooting, I've had people move me along from places and I've had people come up to me and tell me to delete the photo. You can't take this photo. Why did you take this photo of me? The questions can be endless when you're out doing street photography. And doing this kind of art form, you kind of leave yourself open to it, especially when you're walking around pointing a camera at somebody. Now, street photography has been around for a long time and it kind of mixes in with photojournalism. There are loads of books that goes back through history of street photography shots and people documenting the times. And that is kind of what you were doing when you were doing street photography. You were kind of capturing scenes of life at the moment and what is happening. So it is a really fun art form to do and I love doing street photography. But no doubt when you are out doing photos, you are going to get approached by people because people don't understand why you are probably taking a photo with them in it. And people in generally are kind of paranoid about people taking their photos. What are they doing with it? Are they gonna put me online and shame me? And I think this is where the fear from people comes about. So on today's video, I wanted to talk to you about my kind of ethics when I'm out doing my street photography, and maybe it might make you think about what you're actually doing when you are doing street photography. And we're also gonna talk about the rights and wrongs of street photography and where the law might stand on that. Now, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not a legal representative. So the stuff I'm gonna talk about in this video, I can highly recommend that you kind of go onto the internet and Google the laws local to you. As the laws for doing photography in public is kind of different wherever you are. So if you are going to go and do street photography while you're on holiday or you're going away, I can highly recommend that you check out the laws the country or the place you are going to because there are some laws in some countries that are a lot tighter and it is looked upon in a kind of a bad light to be going out and taking photos of people out and about. So it is important that you know the laws and the rules of where you are going. So here in the UK, the law states that if you are in a public place, you can take a photo of anything and anyone. The problem comes with what you are actually doing with that photo. Now I've seen quite a few videos online of people doing street photography and they're running around cities, throwing the camera in people's faces and people are kind of hiding away and they're being chased down the road with a camera of someone taking a photo of them. That to me is just not right. And I think it paints a bad picture of street photography on those videos. That to me, comes across as harassment in photography. Now there are gonna be some kind of times when you're on private land and when you're in a city like I am, you probably won't even know that you're on private land. There are a few places in Birmingham that I've been doing photography and lately I've been moved on by security as they are telling me it's private land. So if you are on private land, you can be kind of breaking the law and you can get into a little bit of aggravation with security when you're kind of shooting on these areas. So you have to be careful. So doing street photography, you know, you're not gonna be setting up lights and you're not gonna be setting up tripods on private land. So you're probably gonna get away with doing some shots on there, but it is worth taking note of knowing where these private boundaries are because you can get caught out quite easily in that aspect. So I've seen quite a few photos of people taking photos through people's windows. Now this is actually invasion of privacy and you have to be careful with doing that kind of photo. This is why I say you've got to be really careful with what you're doing when taking photos because you can just be out taking photos and not thinking you're doing anything wrong, but you can easily get caught out. So you've got to be very, very 
careful with what you're doing. Now, what do you do if somebody comes up to you and asks you to delete their photo? Now, I've had this a few times and I have actually deleted their photo. And the reason I delete their photo is I don't wanna ruin that person's day and I'd rather just delete that photo and make them happy. I don't wanna get into an aggravated conversation with them over it. I do explain what I'm doing. I'm a street photographer and I will show them some of my work. Now I have had people after I've shown them my work, they are quite interested in what I'm doing and they don't actually want me to delete the photo and they're quite happy for me to use it. Because a lot of my photos that I take, I'm not really focusing on the person as such, I'm kind of trying to catch a scene and that is my type of street photography. Now you do get some kind of street photographers that are kind of just getting cameras close to people and the person actually becomes kind of the subject. And this is where you can get a bit of aggravation from people out there. And I have seen people getting very aggressive with photographers when out and about. So you've got to be careful that you don't get pulled into an argument. You do not need to argue with the person you need to be nice and kind of explain what to them what you're doing and calm the situation and if they want you to delete it delete that photo because you will get another great photo it's just one photo out of probably millions that you're going to take so just remember that when you do get confronted and don't be and don't get worried when you get confronted this is kind of something you're going to have to get used to if you're doing street photography it's just the way it goes people are always going to walk up to you and ask you in certain situations if you're pointing a camera at them or you're in a building and you're doing photography people just kind of magnetize to that person with the camera if you're doing it on your mobile phone they probably wouldn't even bat an eyelid but if you've got a camera Trust me, they will take note of you there. So for me, when I'm out doing my photography, I always have an intention behind every shot that I take. I know what I want to capture. So if someone actually confronts me and they ask me, why did I take that photo? I will actually give them the whole reason why. I'll tell them about the scene, what they were kind of contributing to it. A lot of the time, the person in the photo for me is such a minimal part of the photo. It kind of gives motion to the scene and that's kind of what I'll explain to them. And I think it's very important that you've always got an intention of every photo that you take so you can actually explain this to the person if they confront you. So when it comes to ethics in my photography, I don't like taking photos of homeless people and I don't like getting cameras and chasing people down the street and shoving it in their face. And I also don't wanna be painting people in a bad light. I just love getting kind of a film kind of vibe photo and scene and that is my kind of photography. So I think it's really important with your photography that you know your boundaries of where you want to take your photo and the ethics that you want to work to when doing your photography. So I hope this video has helped you think a little bit more about the ethics and boundaries for your street photography. If you've been kind of worried about the law regarding street photography, or if you've been out and about and you've been confronted, I hope this kind of gives you some ideas of what you can do. Just remember to keep calm and stay safe when you're out shooting. If this video has helped you, then please give it a thumbs up and hit that like button. And also subscribe if you are new here. I do two new videos each week around photography and filmmaking. So guys, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Take care.